Okay, what we got here is a uh, <clears throat> small block Chevrolet. It's a 350. And this is for a customer. His name is Steve Summers. And the, uh, the video is pretty much for him because he wasn't able to come over and see it run, so I told him I'd videotape it running. We just finished this engine uh, last night. We got it in the run stand, and I've, I've actually already fired it up and got the cam break-in completed with uh, Joe Gibbs break-in oil, of course. And the uh, motor runs real nice. We bored the block 30 over and used uh, brand new, of course, uh, seal power hyper eutectic pistons with uh, the premium molly rings reground the crankshaft to 10 thousandths under and we got uh, cleavite bearings in there melling oil pump uh, we did all the I did all the machine work on the block of course um, we also decked the block now these are not the customers heads the customers heads on this engine were actually cracked because the engine had been overheated uh, pretty severely. There was some bore distortion, as, or uh, some, I'm sorry, some deck distortion as well, so we went ahead and decked the block too on the decking machine. Uh, assembled the part, assembled the engine with uh, pretty much the best of everything, all new valves, new valve drain. Now this is a truck motor that's going into a 4x4, so it's got uh, an RV type cam in it. It has a uh, uh, what we call a engine pro, it's an M MC1730, great for off-road vehicles. So it does have a smooth idle. But as you can see, we've got oil pressure gauge here. Uh, the temperature is real good on this motor. We ran it at 2,000 RPMs for about 20 minutes to break the cam in, and the temperature never got over 190. Uh, so she's running real nice. Oil pressure's uh, about 70 pounds cold and about 55 to 60 uh, hot with it idling. Um, I do have a bit of an oil leak. I, you can see there's water and oil mixed here. The, the front uh, timing cover is leaking at the bottom where the oil pan gasket is and I, I used a four-piece oil pan gasket against my better judgment. I usually use the one-piece gasket. Um, but one of the one of the nice things about Pre, uh, pre running the engine and running in the cam for the customer is that once we get this back off the stand, of course, I'm going to change that pan gasket and put the one piece Felpro gasket on, like my, my better judgment told me to. Um, I didn't do that. I went ahead and used the Felpro four piece gasket because my supplier was actually out of that one piece gasket. Well, I've got the gasket ordered, and I'm going to, once we get this off of the run stand and back on the pan or back on the stand on the stand, I'm going to uh, change that gasket because I don't want the customer to have any kind of oil leaks. Other than that, she's running beautiful, no other leaks or anything, the oil pressure is great. So we're going to go ahead and fire this up and um, the timing is set at 32 degrees of total timing at 3000 RPMs. The initial timing is about 12 degrees before top dead center. And it's running real nice right there. And I've already got the distributor set in and uh, timed and got it tightened down so the customer won't have to do any any timing or anything. It's already set to go. Uh, he will have to provide a carburetor because this is my carburetor. He'll have to, of course, put on his own uh, pulleys and accessories on the front and a water neck and an exhaust, of course. All this stuff's for the run stand. You can see the mufflers going outside here. Um, but this is just one example. I Every small block Chevrolet that I build, I run, break the cam in, and I run them in and make sure that they are uh, in perfect running condition before the customer gets the engine. And so this is for Steve again. And so I'm going to turn my water on here and we'll fire this thing up.
and I will also show you the uh, the RPMs that this thing's running out and the timing setting. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see the, the timing light do its thing. The camera sometimes doesn't want to pick that up. So we'll set this right here and put it on RPM. Give her a little juice. Fire in the hole. We've got her running about uh, 950 RPM, somewhere in there. Running real nice. Now this engine is warmed up and so our oil pressure is sitting right around 50 pounds. Of course, when we rev it up, that increases. Right back down to 9.50. Now we'll put our timing light on here. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you're going to be able to see the mark. But if we, uh, if we run our timing light down to 12 degrees here, I've got it set for total timing there. If we go up to 12 degrees. That mark is right on zero, 12 degrees. So mark on the balancer is right on zero, and I, I'm pretty sure the camera's not gonna pick that up. And then also, I ran the, the degrees on the timing light up here to 32 degrees. And when we rev it up to about 3,000 RPMs, the mark lines up right at zero. So I know that my total timing, my total timing advance is going to come in about 32 degrees, and that's really what you want for a, a basically a slightly modified truck engine, off-road vehicle. So the temperature is great. We went all over this thing with a temp gun. We're showing about 100 degrees right here at the water neck. That did go up to about 185, 190 when we were running the cam in. But all in all, a really nice engine. It runs very nice, and uh, we'll get that oil leak fixed, of course, before the customer picks it up. And there you have it. If you're interested in having a small block Chevrolet built, whether it's a mild engine like this or a hot rod, street rod, stroker motor. We can do pretty much about anything. Been in the business about 25 years. And we don't just do Chevys, we do everything. Uh, big blocks, small blocks, Fords, Chryslers, whatever you want. Even got a Nissan block in here right now. So uh, shoot me a message if you're in the Phoenix, Arizona area and you want a really nice engine built with a warranty that's going to last you for many many years give me a shoot me a message and uh, again this is for Steve um, I got a bunch of pictures of his engine before we rebuilt it and uh, it was kind of atrocious if you look up here that's all the stuff that came off this motor when he brought it in the manifolds are Got a stock intake on it. 
we basically just took all that nonsense off of there and built them a nice truck motor the way it should be done. We're going to give that back to the customer. I don't know what he's going to do with it. Might make a good addition to his scrap pile because, like I said, the manifolds are cracked. And these stock four barrel intakes are junk. We did go with a Pro Comp intake on this thing because uh, the dyno tests show that this engine, this uh, Pro Comp here, makes a little bit more torque, not much, but just a slight bit more torque than the, uh, than the Edelbrock. And since this is an off road hunting rig, we decided to go ahead and go with that. So I hope this was informative, and Steve, I hope you like it. I will actually be calling you in a day or two once I get this off the stand. So you can come and pick it up and make your hunting trip like you wanted to in the next couple of weeks here.